Let's move on to the continuing story of the school shooting in Parkland, Florida. It's been one week now since the tragic uh, event occurred, and it appears progress might be coming from an unlikely source. President Trump is offering some insight into what the White House may be working on in the wake of last week's school shooting in Florida. The president is tweeting his support for strengthening background checks for gun purchases, and he's directed his Justice Department to draft a ban on bump stocks, which make it easier to fire rounds more quickly. That's right. President Trump might be supporting a ban on bump stocks and the strengthening of background checks, which is weird, right? Trump might do something good. <laughs> yeah. You know you don't know how to feel about that. It's, yeah. It's like getting hit on by someone really hot, but they're also your cousin. <laughs> it's like, I'm flattered, but I can't go home with you. You know, like, call me when both our parents are dead, because... No, because that's how it works, right? Yeah? If, if your parents are dead, then you can smash? No? Okay, just me. Uh, anyway, uh, maybe the reason the president has signaled this about face on gun safety is because he's watching the same kids we've all been watching over the past few days. Survivors of the shooting who have been speaking out. The only reason that we've gotten so far is because we are not afraid of losing money. We are not afraid of getting reelected or not getting reelected. We have nothing to lose. I beseech our American lawmakers from Congress and Senate to stop slinging mud across the aisle and come up with a bipartisan solution to an obvious epidemic of gun violence and mass shooting in America. They don't need to tell us that we don't know what we're talking about. We have stared down the barrel of an AR-15 ourselves. We're just trying to not let 17 of us get shot in the face again. I think uh, that last kid is very relatable. <laughs> I, too, do not wish to be shot in the f face. <laughs> yeah. Wherever Malala is right now, she's like, that's what I've been saying. <laughs> yeah. We're all on the same page. Now, most people who see those kids are impressed by how articulate they are, and they're inspired by their passion. Other people, like ex-congressman and paid CNN contributor Jack Kingston, they think it's suspicious that these kids say they don't want to be shot in the face. <laughs> I think it's a horrible tragedy, and I'm heartbroken. But I also know that their sorrow can very easily be hijacked mm -hmm. by left-wing groups but do you who think it have has an agenda. I, I, well, let's ask ourselves, do we really think that... And, and I say this sincerely, do we really think 17-year-olds on their own are going to plan a nationwide rally? I say this sincerely. Get the f*** out of here, man. <laughs> really? Really? You think... You think adults can convince teenagers to do something they don't want to do? <laughs> really? Like, you think these kids were actually pro-gun? And then what, George Soros showed up and he was like, who wants Skittles? Yeah! <laughs> You're shocked that these kids can plan a few events? Like, this, if this guy had even seen one movie about high school, he would know that planning rallies is at least 30% of being a teenager, <laughs> right? Yeah, the other 70% is falling in love with vampires. That's all it basically is. <laughs> and I'm not saying that these kids aren't getting any help from adults, right? But that doesn't mean it's not their idea. It's the same way that teenagers get grown-ups to help them buy booze. Like, that's what they do. Yeah, when that happens, we're not like, really? Who made you want to get crunk tonight? Who was it, huh? <laughs> was it the Democrats? <laughs> <laughs> now... Some pro-gun advocates are taking the opposite approach, right? They do believe that these kids are acting without adult supervision, and for them, that's exactly the problem. The media is focused more on a teenager's expertise in supply-side control measures for guns, which, Tucker, let's be candid, they probably have not studied a very complicated, layered issue. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you're right. These kids may not be professors in guns, but maybe being in a mass shooting gets you an honorary degree. Yeah? Maybe? Just maybe? <laughs> like... You do realize... You do realize that if people weren't allowed to share their opinions unless they'd studied the issue, then Donald Trump would never be allowed to speak. <laughs> right? <laughs> never allowed to speak. Because, I mean, the only thing he studied is real estate and cheeseburgers. That's it. <laughs> it goes bun, patty, cheese, lettuce, tomato. You can ask for the tomato to be removed. A lot of people don't know that, folks. <laughs> it's a layered issue. Layered issue. <laughs> but maybe the most disturbing attack on the survivors of the shooting isn't about their age or their expertise. It's the claim that they were never involved in a shooting at all. 
social media is being inundated with conspiracy theories, claiming that some yeah, of the grieving students really fighting for gun control are actually hired actors. Some posts like this one being shared more than 100,000 times. You know, I honestly still can't believe that this conspiracy is even a thing. Aside from everything else and how disgusting it is, have you ever met an actor? Huh? You think these kids are actors in a secret world? No actor would be able to participate in a secret conspiracy. Like, if they played diarrhea guy number three in a commercial, that's how they introduce themselves at every single party. <laughs> They'd be like, uh, nice to meet you. You probably know me from my work. Uh, mm. <laughs> yeah, that, that's me, that's me, yeah. <laughs> that's me all the time. Mm. Here's what I find funny about this whole debate. Most of it, and most of the arguments boil down to one idea. Teenagers are too young, too emotional, too inexperienced to talk about guns. Yeah, but as soon as they turn 18, they can own as many of those bad boys as they want. Right. And I guess, in a way, this is how you know these, stu these students are, are having an effect, right? You've never seen gun advocates so desperate that they'd start attacking the victims of a mass shooting. And that's the power of these teenagers, which is why the NRA has decided to shift the conversation with some inspirational teenagers of their own. Hey there, fellow teens. My name is Adrian. I'm 16. I'm Olivia. What's up? What's up, y'all? My name's Jamal. I love Kim Kardashians and SpongeBob SquarePants. I think all us teens should have the right to own guns and take mad selfies. Oh. My gun is my BFF. No one likes senseless killings, but what's even more whack is letting big government confiscate our guns. <laughs> take it from us three teenage people. The only thing that stops a good guy with a gun is a cool dude with a gun. Or a dudette. Or a non-threatening black guy. <laughs> <laughs> Paid for by the NRA. The A stands for awesome.